Hey, I'm Charlene and this is Sam and we're islandjumper.travel and we have uh, just completed our first carnival cruise and uh, we wanted to do um, kind of pros and cons maybe or who did it best um, since we have been in full disclosure we um, are diamond level of Royal Caribbean so that's pretty much been what we cruised on and then of course in December we went on uh, Virgin Voyages cruise and so this is our first <laughs> A carnival cruise so we wanted to kind of go over some things that we thought that uh, Royal Caribbean does better and some things that we think um, Carnival does better right exactly <laughs> number one <laughs> correct <laughs> that is correct <laughs> so number one um, main dining room the main dining room uh, so um, it is our opinion that the main dining room is uh, food is better in World Caribbean. And we agree on this one. Uh, and, and maybe it's not maybe head and shoulders better food, but I just felt like the, the quality of food and the variety of food was was a little bit better. So um, Yeah, we'll, I thought Royal Caribbean is a lot better than, than Carnival. <laughs> I didn't enjoy the dining room in uh, Carnival very much at all. It was uh, The food was okay. Uh, we ate breakfast there. Mm -hmm. Um, and we ate dinner there twice on the five-day cruise, so yeah. maybe we just got bad food um, or chose bad nights to eat there or something like that, but it was just sort of bland and blah. It was okay. I didn't spit it out. It wasn't horrible, but it right. was nothing to write home about. And, and here comes the funny twist. So, chef's table. We have done the chef's table a number of times mm -hmm. um, on... Uh, Royal Caribbean and we did the chef's table when we were on uh, this cruise yep. and I believe that the Carnival chef's table was by far hands down hands down better the best a yeah. uh, really 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 quality food excellent service uh, entertaining the, the staff super friendly yeah and, like yeah. everything you wanted it to be really great food really great everything I, yeah. just, I was really impressed so chef's table I will for sure do that uh, in the future and I know they haven't been doing it for long yeah. um, uh, back since you know the whole since changing COVID, yeah. of the thing so um, and it wasn't in the galley like it typically is, but it. Um, but the uh, one of the servers told us that they, that's going to start back soon. So we were in like kind of a special side room or whatever. Uh, but it was it was excellent. So definitely would recommend if you're on Carnival and that's something you're into and yeah, can afford it. That. I would definitely recommend that. Yeah, and I was a little worried when we got started with that one that it wasn't going to be great. Uh, because of the main dining room experience, I was going, well, okay, we'll do this because we've already signed up for it. But, right, so, oh, oh gosh, it's going to get, I'm going to pay a lot of money for, for adequate for food. adequate but, food. But, uh, no, but yeah, it turned out to be great, so we're, yeah, we're really yeah. glad. Go with it if, you, if you're on one, go on one for sure. Um, and so, continuing on the food theme, so um, Windjammer versus the Marketplace, and those are the various um, uh, Buffet. buffets. Uh, and I think that windjammer may squeak out a wind here but i i've um i've had a couple of dishes in the windjammer that have been pretty decent um but those two are pretty competitive i think What's your opinion uh, again that? i don't I, I would i would give royal the uh heads again a little bit further than she does for carnival i like the windjammer i've eaten there for dinner um they've usually got uh, several different selections of things that i like i like a bunch of different things they've got usually an Indian dish that's good. Yeah. Um, it was very difficult the way this, the way the marketplace is laid out to actually go and look at the food and try to figure yeah. out what you wanted to eat. Yeah, um, there, everything was like <clears throat> really queued up like in really large lines and for some reason at in the Windjammer you can usually like see the food before even you if there's go a lot of people in there it, yeah. you can go look at what you want to eat and before the, you go in. The but, way it worked on um, the carnival it was it was, it was really more like cool. a cafeteria line it was like you got yeah. in line and you went through a cafeteria yeah. line yeah yeah this so, is what it felt like to yeah. me and i just didn't enjoy the experience and the food was lackluster yeah so anyway i think rural caribbean kind of so next uh staying with food is the food um that doesn't cost extra but is not the main dining room or the um the buffet area so on the carnival magic the food that was included um 
uh, they had the the pig and anchor was available a couple times. Uh, they have uh, the blue iguana. Um, they have the guys burgers. Um, and I'm forgetting what else they, they have might the have pizza. had. They have pizza, and they have um, then they have some upcharged seafood. Um, so uh, and compared that to carnival or excuse me, to Royal, Royal that uh, has a local fresh on, on some. Which is uh, equivalent to Blue Iguana. Right, know. and we'll talk about that in a second. And But they, you know, there's no hamburger specific and there's definitely no barbecue specific, but they, um, sometimes they'll have like a promenade cafe, which will have like little sandwiches and things. They also have syringos, they have uh, pizza, um, and there, depending on which ones you're on, there usually is a couple different things you can do, like sandwiches and kind of some basics. Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, I, I since I'm not able to like name them by name, I think probably I'm giving away my uh, my points go to Carnival on the on the extras that are included as a part of the price of the uh, of the cruise. I think they did a really good job on the extras. You know, you made me forget about some of those the uh, the boardwalk cafe. Yeah. I'd forgotten about that. I'd forgotten about uh, some of the other things you just mentioned with uh, with Royal. Um, I think I'd still go with Carnival because uh, the blue iguana was really good, and Guy's Burgers was good, and the pizza was excellent. Yeah, the pizza was was really excellent, and um, I um, I was kind of surprised I liked it. I don't tend to like the cruise line pizzas. So specifically, um, if we stack up the Blue Iguana on Carnival to uh, El Loco Fresh on Royal Caribbean, I, I really think hands down the Blue Iguana wins. Um, and, and, I'm, and I'm not positive whether that was just our experience. We've only had the Loco Fresh on the Wonder, oh, and the yeah. Wonder was kind of underwhelming in general. I think it was understaffed. Yeah. I'm not positive whether they were really ready to get after the could pandemic be, could to be. be doing this or not um, and the variety was um is less on the on carnival they, they had more variety of like mexican type foods but i don't think they executed any of no, it no, no, as, well as well as no. as the few things like maybe they stuck to their knitting here on the blue one and that mm -hmm. stuff they did uh was pretty good they did breakfast um stuff and they did uh lunch stuff and, and the I, staff seemed trained to really do their they, job and yeah. put everything together really well yeah, and, on, and on Royal they just didn't look like they knew what they were doing it looked like they just walked in and were told run this stand today and had no idea how to actually put this stuff together and I think on if you've been on the uh, Royal Caribbean ships when they've had like the taco day or whatever and a lot of times that's like sea day they'll do some like cheese sauce and taco kind of things that seems to be what a loco fresh like that's that equivalent food. It's not anything different than that, but it is different on on the carnival. Um, there, it's, it's a different. It's spiced every yeah. it's, it's And they've got the big stuff. like they've got the the bars to to, to do like various seasonings and add different toppings and stuff they like that. They kind of had that at a local fresh. You just couldn't get to it because of uh, yeah, yeah, that's restrictions yeah, and stuff. Have, they had a person have, standing there giving it to Things you. have lightened up considerably. My food, I'm really obsessed about food apparently. Um, so specifically hamburgers. Um, and on World Caribbean, a lot of times hamburgers are like around the sports areas. They'll have some stations mm -hmm. to do hamburgers and, and hot dogs and french fries. And, um, and to compare that to Guy's Burgers, probably completely unfair because Guy's Burgers are, are much Sorry, better. That, yeah. um, they are uh, they are much better hamburger, and I I think it's like a 80-20 fat composition, so it's got a, a good amount of fat, which keeps the burgers really moist, and then they have all the toppings that you can add, and I really think the Guy's Burger was definitely a, a win. Uh, yeah, Carnival wins on that, but I did want to say I had heard a lot of hype about the guys burgers and they're the best burger ever um and i guess people were saying that on land or sea they're they're good but they're not the best burger i've ever had so but the, yeah they win against in direct competition <laughs> yeah, with yeah. royal but i'm not gonna say they're the best burger ever uh, very good and i wouldn't turn down one um i think we are really spoiled living in uh, raleigh north carolina we have some really amazing food in our area and I think that we have some definitely competitive hamburgers in our area, but uh, definitely I wouldn't turn down a guy's hamburger. And I think that was that's a really good addition. It's definitely uh, gives you another reason that you might want to sell yep. uh, Carnival, honestly. Okay, so finally, getting on something besides food, um, <laughs> the rooms. So uh, because we've been on um, uh, many different 
Royal Caribbean ships of various sizes. Um, I feel like the Magic is very equivalent to the Freedom Class ships. Seems like it's got somewhere close to about sure. that. Um, and and we almost always do balconies, and we did a balcony uh, here on the Magic, and we ended up uh, lucked into an aft balcony uh, on the Carnival Magic, and I am very pleased. I'm very pleased with the size of the room, with the storage available. I think the bathroom seems to be a little bit roomier and a little bit like laid out with travelers in mind because there's like a number of shelves so if you had a family in here i think you could everybody get a shelf Pretty for your shelves. you know for your toiletries and stuff um and it it feels more spacious than yeah, what there's, there's a lot of space in here than what i felt like it did um and uh the um uh, the balconies is a, a good amount of room um too and then obviously the aft view is, is amazing um but yeah i think i think probably Comparing to the, the average balcony rooms that we get on um, a Royal Caribbean, I would think probably, I think that the, I'd have to give it to Carnival. If, yeah, if you're going with storage and space, uh, definitely decor, yeah, roughly equivalent. Yeah. Um, now, the balcony is a little less well-maintained than I'm used to on Royal. Well, and that was, go if that just... Hold your thought right there, dear, All because right. that's where we're going next. So, like, um, another thing uh, that we thought we'd compare is just general maintenance of um, of the ship. And, and the definitely, I mean, well, this ship was built in 2010, just to be fair. Um, so, it's had a lot of love, a lot of fun being going on up in here <laughs> in this cruise. But it's, it's a little bit more worn, a little bit more wear and tear than what I typically see on Royal Caribbean ships and I, I don't know you know who knows what's been going you know on in the During lockdown the time and, and what they what were doing done, yeah. um, uh, with their time or whatever but it's um, there's more rust and a, little, a lot more wear and tear although the carpet seems in good shape so that mm -hmm. was obviously mm -hmm. redone and I think it actually got refurbed um, a few years ago but it it definitely is it's showing signs of yeah, age yeah. Um, and I don't know again Oh, this is our only carnival to right. compare it to, so maybe not all carnival ships are like this. Probably but. not. Yeah, probably the Mardi Gras or whatever is like super nice. So, yeah. but since I only know what I know, I'm gonna have to go with Royal Caribbean on the mm, general maintenance. maintenance. Okay, so moving on into um, entertainment, and I think we have to take the Oasis class ships out of the equation because I don't think that's fair to compare because they have venues that are humongous and skating just, rinks and, and the and, aqua theater and, yeah and i don't think that's fair to compare and they have like full-fledged you know um board what broadway shows kind of equivalent so i don't think that's fair to to make that so if we're just doing like normal show stuff and comedy and you know the basic things like that i think that um carnival does a really good job with their comedians that's kind of like what they're kind of known for and they tend to do like they'll do a, a family friendly and then a not family friendly show at a much later time and i think that's pretty smart and i think world Caribbean does that too but they don't seem to i, I don't recall any um comedians are quite as edgy as what i think they get here so I was uh, just for general entertainment. I think the the dancing and the singing. I did appreciate though that the 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 people that were singing and dancing were not um, necessarily the typical body style that you see for shows. So I appreciated that that there was a little bit more shape to the people that were dancing and singing. So props to y'all for doing that good job um and i think with that said i think probably i would i i'd almost call it a draw on the entertainment what about you um yeah i i am not quite as sold on the comedians being better uh, charlene really thinks that the comedians are much better on carnival but maybe that you know humor is different um right. i i didn't find much of a difference at all i thought it was pretty much a tie for the comedians yeah kind of a draw uh, for it the, the state shows i think the ones they've got here since they're not doing a broadway show they're very creative with what they are doing um they, they haven't got as big a stage they haven't got as much stuff they can do but they do have a lot of lasers and they try to add some effects and those sorts of things and those were interesting yeah, and yeah. uh kind of cutting so i would uh i would say they're doing a lot with what they have and that would put them in i guess equal footing yeah okay so sarah we'll call it a draw yeah i'll call it a draw 
And both good. So. <laughs> yeah, 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 both of them were good. Okay, so adult areas. So, uh, Royal Caribbean has the solarium, which is adult Child, only. Child free. Child yeah, free zones. Supposed to be. And then uh, they have the Serenity. Yeah, Serenity and Solarium. Are so is what we're comparing. And they're the adult equivalents. So, again, and this is the only ship we've been on, but the uh, Serenity was all outside and the Solariums are all covered. Um, and I think that makes a big difference, and they are much bigger proportional to the yeah. ship size. Yeah, the Solarium seems to take up a lot more space. Yeah. And it has and its own pool. This didn't have a pool. Yeah. Um, so I um, uh, always have some bodies of water that you could yeah. get in and kind of cool off. And this had, I think, maybe some hot tub pools back there. I'm not sure. But yeah, it definitely was a, it was a smaller area, not quite as, as nice here. Although... Um, really good uh bartender though in the serenity oh, yeah, i thought yeah. she's one of the best bartenders uh that we had <clears> outside of the... i don't know that i ever tried a solarium bartender though so i can't really give them, um, I, I can't really give them more credit um, or not credit quite sure i've had many drinks in the solarium yeah. well, <laughs> so anyway so yeah i would definitely give a royal caribbean a win on on the solarium i think that's uh kudos to them although they don't always run off the kids so and this seemed to be policed a little bit i didn't see any I saw some kids getting run out yeah yeah so let's get back to food just for a mm. second specifically pizza so Royal Caribbean has Sorrento's and I don't know the name of the I'm not sure yeah. the name of the pizza place pizza here either place. The pizza, it's the pizza place <laughs> it's a place you get the pizza it's a place you get the pizza <laughs> um, but I did I was I was really impressed with Carnival's pizza uh, the last time we had Sorrento's though I thought it was a lot better than what I had remembered it before uh, in the before times I thought it was really horrible and I would only eat it if I just like if there was nothing else to eat and we had um we had some pizza on the wonder and, and i thought that was pretty decent um but it was definitely better the pizza's definitely better here this has definitely gotten better it seemed like on the wonder it, it tasted better to me i never got the big deal a lot of people talked about oh can't wait to get on and have sorrentos and i never really saw the appeal yeah. <laughs> um it was okay but it was like getting mall pizza um yeah yeah so for me it wasn't a good maybe i just had again been lucky and had some good pizza in my life um, so I didn't find it, uh, I didn't find Sorrento's to be really that great. The last time we went, it was better than it had been, but still was just pizza and bad pizza is good pizza, really. Bad pizza is right, bad. Right, still edible pop, yeah. usually. But. Um, so anyway, here they've got, it seems like it's wood fired. The crust was really good. It was very thin and yet held up when you picked it up. It was a very satisfying pizza here. Yeah. Much better, I thought, than Sorrento's. And definitely hand spread the dough and all yeah, that. Yeah, hand, so. hand tossed dough. Well, it looked at least hand tossed. I don't know, maybe they have a machine, but it was well, definitely I mean, un uneven on sides. Yeah, um, so it was it was pretty cool uh, the way they did it. And the other thing that they got bonus points for me was for a fee, they'll deliver it to your room. So you can yeah. call and just get pizza delivery. Yeah, and uh, that's genius, yeah. by the way. You can get a, a full pie, which is, they're pretty small, but... Um, so instead of waiting in line late at night, like a, a lot yeah. of people do right. for late night eats, you can just right. order it sent to your room. Exactly. And speaking of room service, room service, let's discuss room service. Okay. Um, for breakfast, we like to do room service on Royal. We would always uh, go ahead and order room service overnight. Uh, they have. Uh, door hangers that you could fill out you put on your door in the evening um, and your breakfast would be delivered to you based on what you put on the wall. They used to um, do that here too. Yeah, and they used to but do that. But Carnival yeah. has changed. You just call them <clears> and <throat> tell them what you want. Right, so you can't do it the night before, so you have to call them the morning up. Well, I don't know. I never tried to do it. Maybe I could have called it in the night before, but I didn't. Um, called them the morning of. Took about a half hour to get here. Uh, the pastries, similar, very similar to the same yeah. things that you would get yeah. on Royal. The coffee, for me, wasn't as good. Um, I haven't loved the coffee on the Carnival ship as much. It's a little bit yeah. bitter, um, almost more Starbucks-y bitter tasting to me. But yeah. that's, again, personal preference, you know. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, and then they've got a few other room service things you can do, but it looks to me like the room service menu is a little more limited than the one on Royal. Yeah. Um, I would give room service uh, Royal the nod. All right. What about you? Oh, you? yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> I, would give, I would also give Royal the, the win on that one, too. We'll add these up later. <laughs> I'll, um, I'll keep score when I do the editing of this, but it, it really has turned out to be kind of a um, kind of a draw. Um, I think that they um, are both are pretty good value for the money. 
Um, it, they do, they both, like, you have lots of add-ons if you want to buy drinks and all that kind of stuff. You can, you add all those on extra, and especially dining is extra. And there's a lot of that. Their model is is pretty it's, much the yeah. exact same. Yeah, it's the same of, like, they do a real base fare, and then lots of things add up to go on top of that um so it's it definitely non-premium line as far as that's concerned but they're very um i think they're both really good uh value for vacation dollars mm -hmm. um and i think they're very similar and i think that i am no longer going to be a real caribbean snob i think that if um if a carnival ship is going the place i want to go um for a reasonable price i would not hesitate at all to get on a carnival ship yeah i tend to i tend to agree the uh carnival bills itself as the fun ship yeah. and this has been i know it's a little bit shorter cruise we're on a five-day yeah. cruise yeah. um so it may have a bigger party atmosphere than some of their longer cruises but i think probably not i think this is probably what you get and they uh, it tends to be a little louder and a little bit uh, more raucous around the ship. There's a lot more stuff going on yeah. that has well, maybe people drinking more. I don't know, uh, but it has seemed to be a lot of a lot more party stuff going on in the in, during our cruise here. Um, which, if you like that stuff, then Carnival may be the one that you want to you want to move a little bit more toward. Right, right. There's stuff going on on Royal Caribbean, but it hasn't seemed as quite as pervasive across the ship as it has yeah. um, here. Yeah. So. Uh, maybe a little lower key, a little lower key. Yeah, yeah. Carnival or Royal maybe a little uh, lower key. I, I would agree with that. But I would no longer just not sail on Carnival. Yeah, yeah. I'm really glad that we came on yeah, Carnival exactly. and got ex got this experience, and I'm I will definitely definitely consider Carnival again. Yeah, I think you I think you. Uh, you look at your vacation dollars and yeah. decide uh, is this the port that I want to go to yeah. does the ship that I'm yeah. going to go on have the amenities that I want does right. it have the does it have the slides does it have yeah. the that's what things I want, that right. I want to do right and uh, that are on the ship go, going to get to it easy <laughs> yeah because right now like flying places just is like a nightmare so um but yeah and, yeah because I didn't really even miss the amenities that we get for being diamond on royal on the carnival ship yeah uh, so yeah, so, yeah, that, that's true. I mean, because we do have some kind of built-in perks, and I didn't notice those really not there either. Yeah. Um, of course, they've gotten to be less. That's true. Royal has post. tended to erode yeah. a little bit. We didn't feel like we got as much on Wonder. Yeah, on the Wonder as we, the, as we had in, in uh, before. In the before mm -hmm. times, we felt like there were a lot, little bit more things included. So, yeah. so, yeah, I think in conclusion, I think they're both very, very good, very solid brands, very competitive brands, but I just don't think one is had I just don't think one's better than the other in in yeah. enough to go always one than the other you know like get your loyalty points or you know stick with it like like we did I think which was fine. which was surprising me I really thought yeah. you know I really I, thought I was going to be a royal was going to be uh, come was, out and I was going to go oh was, well hashtag gosh. loyal to royal yeah. then now I'm mm -hmm. now I'm like you know loyal to uh, my vacation dollars yeah <laughs> All right, so that's it for us for now, and um, until next time, live your truth and live well. Mm -hmm.